get ready to get your stuff very organized. Howdy everyone, welcome to this video. In case you haven't noticed, I welcome you to our brand new studio. So I hope you guys like it visually as we do. And in this video, we're gonna be going over how to organize your photos using batch selection or a multi-select tool. And you'll find the article about this topic and learn.zoner.com in the description below. So when does batch selection come in handy? I'm sure it's happened that you've had several similar shots of the exact same subject and you wanted to pick out the very best one. And that's exactly what the batch selection and preview mode are for. Let's start by selecting the photos that we want to compare side by side. You can hold down the control key and click to select each image in the film strip. Or if your photos are in a row, click the first image, press shift, and then click the last image. This selects all the photos between them. And if you wanna select all the photos in the folder, just press control and then A. You can change how they're displayed by clicking on this picture with the gear icon and it's called preview options. And right at the top under multi preview layout, select if you want the thumbnails displayed horizontally or vertically. Now you can see that we have five photos in a row from the ones we selected. And you can hide the side panels for even more space. No matter the mode, only a certain number of images are gonna be displayed and that's depending on the photo's format and the size of your monitor. If you're gonna be choosing between multiple images, you might want to use the automatic option, which displays the most images. Okay, so once you have all your photos side by side, it's time to pick out the very best one. But how? Well, by diving into the details. Click one of the photos and they will all switch up to a 100% view. Next, move the mouse around the zoomed in photo and compare specific areas. This is an easy way to check which photo caught the best facial expression or is the most in focus, sharpest, etc, etc. To move around or zoom in on just one photo, click the magnifying glass icon in the top bar, which is known as synchronize zoom. And this is gonna let us pan around and zoom on each photo separately. And for an even faster workflow, you can leave the synchronize zoom on and hold the shift key to pan and zoom in on a photo. And we can do that by holding shift and zooming in also using the mouse wheel. Now we can also rate and pin photos in preview mode. And if you don't see this option under your photos, just click preview options again and check the preview information option at the bottom. So if you're interested about learning just a little bit more about labeling and color rating, there's gonna be a link to a video in the description below, so be sure to check that one out as well. Now, if you wanna compare images with a photo that you've already selected as one of your best, click the pin to pin it to your screen, and then in the film strip, click the photos you want to compare with the pinned one. Now, you can also pin photos to make sure that your colors match. Now it's up to you if you want to compare one photo at a time or select multiple photos to compare with the one that you have pinned. And that's how you use batch selection to sort and organize your photos. I hope that was useful. That's all from us today. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And of course, as always, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and let us know what you'd like to learn about in the comments so we can make videos according to your needs. See you guys in the next one. Take care.